Perry. On the last episode of FaceTime with Perry Winkle, my guest, Dmalo Roberts, guided viewers through a writing exercise inspired by her project, The Ism Youth Files. Well, round two of submissions just launched. The deadline is March 15th, and I'm gonna use their prompts to write my very own piece. Let's get writing. What does it feel like when you feel connected to others? Being connected to others makes me feel alive. I spend a lot of time by myself, which can be fun. It's a great time to practice my keyboard skills. And practice is important. But if a piano player plays piano in a forest and nobody hears it, do they make music? The answer is yes, but it just feels like practice until someone else hears it. And connecting with others isn't just about me, of course. It's about others. When I get to hear about someone else's day, that's so cool. It makes my world feel bigger. My world isn't only what I can see. It's also my friend's kitchen when he shows me the nachos he made, or someone's backyard in a live stream I'm watching. The more I connect with others, the bigger my world becomes. What makes you feel hope when you feel down? When I feel down, I wish I could visit a different world. Sometimes that's hard to do, but I can always change my surroundings and make my world different. My favorite way to do that is to learn something new. Being able to learn a new skill or a new fun fact gives me something to look forward to. I can learn a quick craft, or I can watch a video about weird animals I've never seen before. Or I can watch a cooking show and learn a new recipe for something delicious that makes a humongous portion of yummy food and leaves me with leftovers that'll taste amazing for a week. That, that is hope. How do you help a friend or loved one when they face challenges in their lives? You know, as a monster, I feel like I am very observant of human culture. I have to be. Monsters aren't so subtle. We roar when we're angry, we munch when we're hungry, and we dance when we're happy. But here's one thing I've picked up on. When people are facing a challenge, the best thing I can do is listen. A challenge is not impossible. Most people already know that. But a lot of people just want someone else to understand them, to acknowledge that what they're going through isn't easy. Listening to our friends and family goes a long way. Some challenges are harder than others. What might be a little rock to one person might be an enormous boulder to someone else. I'm a monster, so naturally, I can move a boulder. But for you, that might be hard. That's okay. Listening and being there for our friends and family can really help lighten the load. What are your wishes for 2022 and why? After drawing a funny face on every key on my keyboard and giving each of them an elaborate backstory, I'm ready for adventure. I want to see everything I haven't seen, do everything I haven't done. Is that too much for one year? Okay, how about I want to see at least 20 things I haven't seen. My world really has become bigger by connecting with all sorts of people and learning all sorts of things, and now I'm ready to explore it with my own eyes. The Empire State Building, the Pyramids, the last blockbuster. There's so much out there waiting for me to see. And I can't wait to see it all. Did this inspire you to write? If it did, maybe you should create something for the ISM Youth Files. Media Rights is taking submissions for an ebook collection of monologues, personal essays, poetry, and short graphic novelettes. You can submit a piece you've already written, or you can use the same prompts as I did to create a new piece. Selected submissions receive $100 to $300. Submissions are due March 15th. Visit the link in the description or go to MediaRights.org to learn more and submit your piece.